In this video, we are diving into the brand new Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and we are looking at why and how you should be using it in your next N8N, Make.com, or Zapier workflow. Before we get into the video, I just have one request for you. Over 95% of the people that watch this channel are not subscribed. And if you get some benefit out of my channel or this video, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. It does wonders for me. Uh, it tells me exactly what I should carry on doing and what type of content is really working for people. So if this is something that's down your alley and you're really getting some good benefit out of it, drop a like, subscribe, and I will promise you I will continue making better and better content for you. Alrighty, so Claude 3.7 Sonnet and Claude Code was released February 25th, and it is noted as the most intelligent model to date and the first hybrid reasoning model on the market. I have played around with this, I've tested this, and I can confirm it does work from you know across the board. No code builders. I use Lovable. It's fully integrated within Lovable. They just posted an announcement. I'll put that up somewhere here. Or if you use some of the other no code builders, Bolt.new, Cursor, Claude, 3.7 Sonnet is the way to go. Now let's talk about some workflows. Within N8N, that agentic flow and that fine grained control of how the model operates and how it thinks and reasons is prime for workflows specifically within N8N. So looking at some of the benchmarks that a lot of models are tested against, you can see Claude 3.7 Sonnet has really outperformed all other Claude AI models as well as OpenAI. So first one here is software engineering. This is the SWE bench verified benchmark. And Claude 3.7 Sonnet, you can see here with custom scaffold, it hit 70.3%. Every other model that it was compared against here didn't even hit 50%. So that goes to show it. Another big one I like to look at is agentic tool use. And you can see a Claude 3.7 Sonnet, 81.2%. If you compare that to OpenAI, you got 73.5%. And there's something to point out with the agentic tool use benchmark. It basically evaluates how well the model performs with external tools. So when we look at something like N8N, which is an external tool, it performing at 81.2% and outperforming OpenAI's on model by, you know, at least 7% here really goes to show how well it performs in the context of what we're building it for. And another thing I wanted to look at is pricing because you're all about practicality on this channel. So what I did was I compared it against OpenAI's O1 model. And if you come to Open Router, you can actually have a look at how much the cost is for the input tokens. So OpenAI O1 is $15 per million input tokens. If we compare that to Claude 3.7 Sonnets, it's only $3 per million input tokens. So significantly less, which helps us because it's outperforming those benchmarks and it's cheaper. One thing to note, you compare it to something like DeepSeek R1, that still does dominate from a pricing perspective. So, you know, 80 cents per million input tokens, something to consider, but for what we want to achieve and what we're gonna get into now, which is N8N and workflows, Claude 3.7 Sonnet is dominating. Alrighty, so diving into N8N, basically got a very, very simple little workflow going here that when a chat message is received, it'll execute a basic LLM chain and here, when you look at the model and you click the little plus sign, you get a list of LLMs that you can choose from. In this list, there are a bunch. There's other Anthropic models, there's Google models, there's OpenAI, so forth, but there isn't any specific to or 3.7 Sonnet. So with that being said, how we work around this, because we don't actually have an LLM available for 3.7 Sonnet and we wanna use it in our N8N workflows. Very, very simply, we're going to use open router. So you're going to hit the plus sign. And this can also work if you've got an AI agent. So we can actually add, an, add a node, create an AI agent node. Let's get back to Canvas. Let's just have that up there. So in both cases, you would need to connect a chat model. So the same over here. There is no 3.7 sonnet to choose from. So what you want to do, hit the plus sign, come down to open router chat model, hit that. You'll then have to basically uh, create a credential to your OpenRouter account. Very, very simply go to OpenRouter and create an account. And once you've created an account, if we come back to N8N, once you've created an account, you will be asked to enter in your API credentials. Very, very simply, you just go through to the menu, go down to keys, go to your keys, create a new API key. Just don't obviously share it with anyone and head back to N8N, pop in your API keys, save, 
them over there. And then if you go to model here and you search for Claude and you just scroll down, you'll hit Claude 3.7 Sonnet and you can choose 3.7 Sonnet, Sonnet Beta or the Sonnet Thinking model. And there you have access to Claude 3.7 Sonnet for your basic LLM chain or for your AI agents and you know to actually create the brain for it and to add one of the best LLMs over the past few days at least, which is Claude 3.7 Sonnets. And that is the video, everybody. I really hope it was beneficial, take you through what Claude 3.7 has to offer and to show you how you can integrate it into your NetN workflows. I will be using 3.7 in a bunch of my workflows going forward. Definitely keep an eye out for that on the channel and let me know how it goes for you. Let me know the, the difference you find between some of the other models and 3.7 Sonnets. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.